Opposition protesters in Bangladesh are demanding the resignation of the government because of rising food prices and the lack of political freedom. Supporters of the main opposition party are marching in the capital, Dhaka. They're demanding a non-partisan caretaker government before the presidential election later this year and the release of political prisoners. Over to Tanvir Chowdhury now, who joins us live from Dhaka. And Tanvir, how big are these protests so far and what's driving people onto the streets? Well, this rally was big. It was uh, several kilometers long. It's essentially a road march. It started from an area called Gaptoli in the city, and most of these rallies were heading to the center of the city and other parts of the city. Tens of thousands of people participated in these rallies. Their one key demand is resignation of the government, and they want a neutral caretaker government to take over before the general election, which is supposed to take place in December or January next year. Now, many of these people who were in the rally are not necessarily members of political parties. We met people from different walks of life, from cab drivers to truck drivers to scooter drivers uh, to rickshaw pullers. They said that they're upset with the government because of the economic crisis. Uh, the food, pre food prices and essentials are very high, high inflation rate. People are having real hard times since last year, and the government has been able to tackle those, and they want the government to resign unless they take care of the economic situation. Now, even on last week, uh, on Wednesday, there was a massive uh, rally by the opposition where they declared this one-point uh, demand from the center of the capital. Literally hundreds of thousands of people took place in these rallies, and this key demand remains the one point uh, between the opposition party and its 36-party alliance. And Tampu, as you say there, given that we've got elections taking place later this year, how might all of this affect that, uh, that key vote? Well, it's increasingly taking a confrontational turn. I mean, the government is adamant. They said the election will take place. It will be free and neutral, but it will be under this present government. They will remain in power and they will not resign because under the constitution they said there's no provision for uh, caretaker neutral government. And also in the street, even today, there's been clashes between opposition uh, supporters and the ruling party supporters. Yesterday, there was a major by-election when one of the independent major candidates was beaten up by the ruling party supporters. So this sort of confrontation and increasingly when the opposition puts out a rally, the government supporters also puts out a rally. And it is increasingly getting towards a confrontational politics unless they sit down and come to some sort of dialogue. There's high-level visit from the United States State Department, the EU and the UN trying to sort of mediate and encourage a, a, a fair election. Despite all this, both sides seem to be adamant and both sides is sticking to their demands. And obviously, before the election, we'll see more rallies more confrontation unless there is a some sort of understanding between the two main op opposition party and the ruling party. Mm, sounds like a lot of political turbulence to come. Tanvir Chowdhury yeah. in Dhaka, thank you.